plans. Terms apply. All Request Friday is on your radio, it's on your mobile, it's on your smart speaker, and it's ad break free on Greatest Hits Radio Premium. Across Lincolnshire, this is Greatest Hits Radio. The top stories this hour. Pressure is piling on those in charge of English football after a fierce backlash to the scrapping of FA Cup replays. We also found out all ties will be played at weekends as part of changes to the competition next season. Our reporter Lawrence Griffin has more details. As you can imagine, there's been a lot of reaction to the announcement more than 24 hours on. The beauty and the magic of the FA Cup is that you could take a team that plays in leagues and leagues above you and hold them to a draw and hopefully get a game at their place. James Pywell's a Grimsby fan. His club's called the move absolutely disgraceful. Today, an updated FA statement said teams will see a boost to their revenue and that concerns are understood. Lincoln City CEO Liam Cully also heads up the EFL Trust. We built our training ground on, on the back of that, that cup run and you know the impact that it's had for our football club and many others is incredibly important and I, and I think that's you know potentially what we are missing. Downing Street's calling for a full explanation of the changes but says it's up to the FA to make footballing decisions. Well, it comes as Lincoln City's League One playoff hopes could be impacted tonight. If Oxford United beat Stevenage, the Imps would need a win at Cheltenham tomorrow to keep their promotion hopes alive. However, if Oxford lose or draw, Lincoln have the chance to replace them in the top six. Other news this evening now, and there's been a big reaction to Israel's apparent strike on Iranian territory in the early hours of this morning. Some analysts think the Israeli military has shown it has the capability to reach highly sensitive facilities. There was no damage and no reported injuries. Police in Skegness have arrested a man in connection with suspected drugs and weapon offences. A 41-year-old was taken into custody yesterday. He's now out on bail. And Taylor Swift has still managed to shock fans with a secret double album release, the Tor- Culture Poets Department is her 11th record. It features songs about her exes and current boyfriend Travis Kaus. There are also lyrics in the title track about the famous Welsh writer Dylan Thomas. Weather on Greatest Hits Radio, the UK's most listened to commercial radio station. Mostly dry in Lincolnshire and Newark overnight. Sunny spells tomorrow, highs of 12. That's the latest. I'm Johnny Freeman. Good afternoon, I'm Andy Crane. Thank you for listening. It's All Request Friday on Greatest Hits Radio. All Request Friday. The good times sound like this. Uh, One more hour of this until uh, Martin's mixtape at uh, seven tonight. So let's squeeze as many in as we can. Let's go to Sheffield next. Hello there, Bruce Davis. How are you? Hi, Andy. I'm fine, thank you. Lovely to speak to you. How and are you? And you too. I'm very well. And as I said many times already, I love All Request Friday because I get to meet such lovely people. Now, we've done songs for dads this afternoon. We've done songs yep. for sons. This one for a friend, I understand, Bruce, yes? Yes. Uh, Ian Riches, who I uh, collect messages for for his radio show, um, he's running the London Marathon for the first time ever in aid of Pancreatic Cancer UK. Wolf. And I've been going around collecting a load of celebrity messages. Some like uh, Martin Lewis outside the BBC, he, he did a short one that said, uh, uh, Ian, run like you've got wind. <laughs> that's a very good line, actually. I might, and, might steal that one. That's a good one. Yeah, uh, money, what? Money, money saving Marty Lewis chat was that, that the money saving man? Yes, yeah. that's good. Yeah. So, so lots of uh, celebrity it, endorsements for him. And I think his favourite one was Bernie Clifton, who said, uh, uh, Phone me, Ian, I can tell you where the shortcuts are. <laughs> yes, well, these days you get spotted doing things like that. I've, I've read stories of people who get into cars <laughs> yeah. and stuff, don't they? Yeah. And then and then they don't know. Some woman, was it some woman at the Boston Marathon or something? She, like, basically got... Uh, no, let's not get into that. Has he got Correct. a target he's aiming for, Bruce? Is there a time he's looking for or just finishing? Uh, just finishing it. He, he, hope, he thinks he'll be uh, just behind the bin men or just before the bin well, men finish. Well, <laughs> I'm yeah. sure he'll manage it. As long as he's put the training in and, you know, and he's taken all yeah. the oh, carbs yes, and all the other things yeah. that you have to do, I'm sure he's done and all that. He, he wants to finish before the deep sea diver guy. That, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was, again, that was a long time ago. I don't know whether the deep sea... He took literally weeks, didn't he? Because he was wearing those proper lead boots that they used to wear. Exactly. I don't yeah. know how old you are, Bruce, but I had an action man I've, who had that outfit. With the, big, with the yeah, with the big sea, deep sea diver helmet and the metal boots. There's one for the teenagers. OK, well, we're talking about running. There are so many running yeah. songs we could choose. Which one have you gone for? Yeah. I've picked uh, Born to Run by Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> okay. 